welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm here with uh, my boyfriend, Danes Gaming. He's just in the corner playing his FIFA videos. You know, if any of you guys like to watch FIFA or is enjoying watching FIFA videos, then um, hit him below. There will be a link down in the below section. <laughs> that did not make sense. In the comments down below. Okay, in today's video, I will be carving this pumpkin. Um, I'll be designing a face onto this pumpkin. Obviously, you may have seen videos um, on YouTube like that, but yeah, today will be another video, um, and I hope you enjoy. Um, on the screen, there will be a video now of the items that you need. There will be obviously the knives, uh, a spork, uh, some water, obviously, just throughout the video, keep you hydrated and also the actual pumpkin itself and just an additional sort of um, an additional item so I've got the cinnamon down here that is just a little tip um, if you sprinkle some cinnamon especially if you're going to have the pumpkin inside if you sprinkle some cinnamon inside the pumpkin it's going to smell amazing um, the first step would be to actually carve out the top and take all the insides out from the pumpkin. That's probably the most boring part of the, the whole pumpkin carving. So I'll do that first um, and then yeah, take it from there. So um, I have, like in the video that you've seen, there is a couple of knives to use depending on, sort of, depending on which one's the most comfortable. Um, you need to make sure that the hole is big enough um, to, well, to get the insides out and also to put the candlelight in as well. This feels like deja vu to be honest because, well, funny story, I've done this video before. Um, I've done it on October the 14th and today is what, the 22nd? 23rd. 23rd. Yeah, so I've done it about seven days ago. Um, planning to upload it obviously and yeah I sort of deleted the files so I'm back here again in the same location um, doing another video I mean I do like carving the pumpkin so that's not an issue but also kind of very frustrating especially when it was all edited and ready for upload um, yeah it's not the easiest thing to do it was actually very cheap to be honest. We went into Aldi today and they have got a sale on their pumpkins now. Um, so this pumpkin, this is classed as a large pumpkin and it was only 99 pence. So that is amazing. My previous one was, um, what was it? Like £1.59. So it's not too bad anyways, but... Saving! Yeah, every penny counts. I'll be designing my own design. It will be inspired by the Minions. Um, I love Despicable Me. Um, well, I'm sort of lying there. It's kind of a little bit boring. I've only I was gonna say, once. like, when have you seen like the last one? Yeah, like you I, haven't. No, I haven't. No. Probably second one was the last one they seen. Yeah, exactly. I can't take it out. This is the yeah. Like I said, this is probably the worst part um, of actually getting the insides out. And also cutting the top. I don't really know what's happening here. I've gone round it like three times. Now. Imagine if it's moldy inside. Mm. I mean, it's bubbling. Every time I cut into it, like bubbles come out. You shouldn't do that next time. No, I didn't do it last time, so I don't know. That's probably why they're on sale. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, I've got it. Oh no. It's somewhere. It's still attached. Oh, it smells worse than last time but hooray I've done it so this is the inside quite a lot to do so probably the most boring part I have got a story time for you guys actually so um, I'll tell you that um, so we went on a holiday uh, to Mallorca and on the way back obviously we decided to take an opportunity and do online shopping because we came back on a Sunday uh, and we were at my, uh, well, we were coming back on Sunday anyway, the shop sort of been closed and therefore we sort of decided to take an opportunity to get it on a, um, 
on Sunday, but then there's been some issues and then I, anyway, I've got it in the end on Monday. So Morrison's, the online shopping was from Morrison's and I've done it and I spent, oh, well, around about 60, 60 pounds, I think. And um, the guy turned up at my door and he said, do you want a date check? So I said, yes, um, yes, please, obviously, because last time I had issues with like some yogurt being like one day, uh, just one day, so, sort of gave me the one day to sort of eat it. Anyway, and um, so he Jake checked everything and I thought, well, I'm not gonna do it twice because that's just a little bit awkward. Um, so I just put everything in the kitchen and sort of tried to hurry up because I just find stuff, situation like that awkward, like especially he was just standing outside. And um, shoved everything onto the kitchen tops and then he left and I just started like putting the stuff away and stuff like that. And I saw that the bread was just like, well, I don't know, like the expiry date was the 16th, no, I don't know. Anyway, basically it was just one day, like it was going to expire the next day really. So I didn't even have like a day to finish the bread, a loaf of bread. Uh, so I emailed Morrison's and told them about the situation and put in photos and everything. I mean, I work in customer service, so I know how it works. Um, so I emailed them and they replied to me and he said blah 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 it will take 24 hours to get a response and I was like oh of course like I like customer service so I understand and that was just like an automatic email uh, from the company but not from any of the advisors or anything and then it got like it was like two days later first of all they called me a mister and as far as I know I'm female anyway and then they put um what did they put so they said that obviously my complaint isn't to do with um, online shopping. So then they're going to pass it on to the customer service team. And I was like, right, okay. Like I just completely had a go at them and I thought, okay, like, you know, it is online shopping because as far as I know, I brought it online and I got it delivered to my, to my address. Anyway, so then um, long story short, I received a reply like after a week, I think I've only received the reply today to be honest and um, obviously I emailed them a lengthy email just complaining because like although the bread was out of date just well it was near enough out of date I just wanted a refund for it and because it takes it took so long and then the customer advisor that was there like that was sort of emailing me was so rude it just annoyed me even more and um, so in the end um they replied to me yeah today i think yeah i saw the email today and um they refunded five pounds and i only paid 50p for the bread so i mean that's nice i got more than i should have yeah but it's not nice when you being called the dear sir huh Yes, yeah of course it's not it's a horrible situation i mean like it's just a time wasting like they they got it and especially when i asked him to day check the item and he like obviously he didn't do a good job because well if he day checked it it wouldn't have happened in the first place and it was kind of so he was kind of rude as well like he did it seemed like he wasn't oh, he didn't want to do it he didn't want to stand there he just wanted to go home which i understand a job is a job who likes their job but like if you're there you're there like you're sort of that's what you get to pay you that's what you get paid for like to do the actual job properly and if you can't do it properly then you might as well not work there like but moral of the story i earned four pounds and fifty pence i mean i don't really care about the money like it's like at the end of the day it's four pounds and fifty pence but it's just a service like i just don't understand so um in case you haven't noticed I am using a spork to scoop everything out from the inside. Uh, that's a little hint of mine, uh, a secret hint actually. When I carve the pumpkins, I do the, uh, I use this because it's sort of, if you can hear it on the camera, it sort of uh, scrapes it. So it kind of detangles all the stringy bits inside. Just a little bit easier, I think. Like with a spoon, you sort of just, the spoon isn't as long as well if you just like use a soup spoon or anything like that it's just not as long so you can't really get everything out um, this just works best for me maybe have a go if you haven't tried or if you have then yeah you 
probably understand. I'm just sort of tidying up the top. Um, I find that if you put the lid on, even just to take photos of it, if you have it inside, if you put the lid on, the, it looks a little bit nicer because it keeps the light in and it just shines more on the areas that you cut out rather than the top. Um, yeah, so I'll just do that. It's just a little bit difficult to scoop the inside out because it's very very slimy I don't really want to touch it I'm quite surprised how cheap the pumpkins are to be honest I sort of expected it more expensive let me know guys what you do during Halloween um, do you go pumpkin hunting I know some people go like not hunting but like they go into a field and get their own pumpkins. I mean, it looks fun, but it also doesn't. Like, you just pick your own pumpkin. Like, you could do that in the shop, but you'd actually have to pay just to go on a field and pick your pumpkin. But they probably, like, I think their little secret is buying them from the shop and then just scattering them around on the field. They don't probably grow them, to be honest. Right, I think that's done. I'm not going to worry too much about the insides. As long as it's smooth and as long as the, well, as long as it's smooth really and if you could put the tea light in that's all that matters um that's all done now looking at the in regards to carving the pumpkin out there's lots of different designs that you can go for you can go on pinterest they've got loads of different designs people sharing their own designs you've got pumpkin templates so you can cut it out and then sort of if you're not good at drawing then you can cut it out and then just stick on a pumpkin and then just around a piece of paper if that's easier for you um, they've got just inspiration everywhere literally just go on Pinterest that's probably the best situate uh, the best area to go to um, I, that's where I go if I need any sort of inspiration for like Christmas or Halloween or anything birthday inspirations it's there that's probably the best place to go I'll be drawing the minion out. I'll be doing just like the face and just a little bit of his body on the, it's quite a small pumpkin to be honest. I don't know how it's going to work, but yeah, it's something new. I don't want to do the usual face and mouth. It is probably the easiest thing to do because it's a pumpkin. Like if you can see down here, it's so thick and cutting through that, it's not the easiest thing to do. And usually like if you choose something with the round or anything like that, it would just be so difficult to carve out. Um, so yeah, I'll see how I get on. I'll just draw it out now and then yeah, I'll tune back in with you guys as soon as I am done. So here is how it looks, um, I'm kind of happy with it, like I said it's just the outline. Um, now I'm guessing we'll just go straight into carving it out, um, I've just marked the areas that needs to be, I'll just quickly mark them, so this needs to be cut out, there you go. Let me know in the comments below what's your favourite season and time of the year, I prefer this is probably the most, for me, the best season of the year. I like Christmas, I just like autumn in general. June's probably the happiest season of the year. Like, I like being at home, I like watching films, just cozying up with some hot chocolate. Probably the best season for me. Who doesn't like um, just Christmas in general, Christmas trees, Christmas decorations, Christmas, well, snow, everything just literally everything like I'm obsessed with Christmas but I like autumn as well this is the hardest thing I think you need like sharp knives um, just to cut it out and also it's difficult to take out the areas as well 
because you just need to be careful of actually not cutting too much out and not actually breaking the areas that you don't want to cut out. Um, yeah, happy with that. So let me know what you guys are doing on Halloween. Um, we don't really do much. We, well, we don't like horror movies, so we don't like go to the cinema and watch horror movies. We did go to Private Evil last year and we enjoyed that. Um, it was just the first time, so it was very nice just to do something, um, something different that I don't think I'd go again, to be honest, um, unless they had different acts. But if it's the same sort of thing every single year, no, not, I don't think I would, to be honest. Uh, another tip is if you can't get an area out, for example, now, what I do is just break it up into little pieces. So take, cut it up, take it out, and do again. Then you can make sure that you don't pull out everything. There you go, and I've done that. So at the moment, this is how it looks. It's getting there. Nice. Yeah. In my previous um, video that, well, that I lost, um, I did a, a bat. I think I enjoyed this one a little bit more, but I haven't seen the final sort of look of it. Right. And if I just... Right. So I've done, like I said, I don't know whether I showed you it, but I nearly dropped that. Imagine. Uh, I've done the sort of the outlines, just all the areas that needs to be cut, now, uh, cut out. Now I'm going to just refine it and yeah, just refine it a little bit, make it a little bit neater. And surprisingly, that'll be done. So yeah, I'll check back with you guys. Oh, another tip is is um, if you you don't necessarily have to carve the area fully out what you can do is just take the skin off um, and leave it a little bit lighter then what will happen is when the shine when the well the light will come through it will just make that area a little bit light but not too light Interesting. I don't understand how people do like really tiny designs and so detailed because it's so difficult to do. And then there's Billy. Oh, and then my. Did you see that? It's just a shame how m pumpkins get mouldy really quickly. Well, just out of date really quickly because, like, if you just spend so much time on it leave it outside someone will either kick it and smash it or it'll just go moldy after a couple of days i'm thinking uh for my future videos i'm thinking of doing um baking cookies with me um showing you my secret recipe that i've created myself or um i'm thinking of face painting my boyfriend's face um, like Halloween inspired obviously so do that maybe uh, let me know if you'd like to see that and it should be up shortly um, if I get I'll go for two like three likes actually if I go for three likes then I'll get that uploaded by the end of this week um, what's today Thursday Tuesday Tuesday today so yeah I'll get it uploaded by the end of this week Okay, I am back and this is how it looks. I am pretty happy with it actually. So now I'm going to try my little tip and put a tea light, well, I'll use my boyfriend's flashlight in there and I will see if I'm happy with all the areas. If so, perfect. If not, then you just sort of refine the areas that you need to refine. Uh, that is the final outcome. I will show you a few images at the end obviously of it in the daylight and just using a flashlight because I think it'll just be a bit more um, well you'll be able to see a little bit more um, I really like it to be honest like it looks really good um, we have I did see a design actually on the internet 
and it had like a trick on one well it had carved out trick on one uh, pumpkin and on the other pumpkin it said treat and inside the trick there was uh, spiders coming out from there and inside obviously just plastic spiders and then in the other one they had sweets inside and you just sort of there was a hole and you just put your hand in there and just take take some um it's pretty awesome to be honest it looked really really nice um right i think i'm done actually i've just refined it a little bit so what i done was i carved out the top just the, the, the bit, the, the darker layer of the pumpkin. But you couldn't really see it on the light. I could have carved it a little bit more, but what, once I started to carve it out, I just thought, you know what, I'll just cut straight through it. Um, I think it looks a little bit better now. So this is how it looks. I will just try to shine the light on it just to see. And yeah, I think I'm a little bit happy. really good i think it looks a bit more like the minions now because obviously the eye stands out a little bit are you happy with it no i'm not happy i'm losing gosh i'm really happy with it i love it oh. okay so this is how it looks obviously there will be a close-up video of the pumpkin i am actually really happy of it like i said i will um oh. I will upload just well I'll just insert a video of my old pumpkin because I do have a photo of it on my just on my phone so I'll just upload the photo and then I'll insert a photo of the new pumpkin and let me know in the comments down below which one you prefer uh, personally I prefer this one more but just let me know um, yeah I think that's it for today and um, I hope you're having a good day and if you're not tomorrow's a new day bye